Hey, it's Michelle, you're a CXC Biology Tutor again. Welcome back to the Know the Differences series in which I go through with you important terms that you need to understand. In this video, I'll be looking at the nervous system and I'll be paying special attention to the differences between the neurons and the nerves. So by the end of this video, you should know the differences between these two parts of the nervous system. All right, let's begin. Let's look at the neurons. So neurons are specialized cells. They're nerve cells which conduct electrical impulses in the nervous system. So think of them as electrical wires sending messages to all parts of the body. So in the picture here, you can see neurons found in the brain. And you can see that they form this network, these connections where the messages will be transmitted from neuron to neuron. Now the key points to remember are that there are three different types of neurons in the body. You have the sensory neurons, which are found in the PNS, and PNS is the peripheral nervous system. The relay neurons, which are found in the CNS, which is the central nervous system. And the motor neurons, which is also found in the PNS. So we're going to look at these three neurons in great detail as I go on. All right, let's look at the sensory neuron to begin with. Now the sensory neuron is that neuron that's going to be activated by external stimuli. So remember a stimulus is any change in the environment. So that includes touch, sound and light. So you tend to find these sensory neurons connected to the receptors and receptors are found in your sense organs. So you find them in your eye, the skin, nose, ears, mouth. So the sensory neurons are going to be connected to these receptors and they're going to receive the electrical impulses and send these electrical impulses towards the CNS. So as you can see in the diagram here, I have some of the key parts of the, the sensory neuron to note. So we have the nerve endings connected to the receptor and then you could see that the thin fiber, which is a very key part to remember when you're looking at neurons, these thin fibers which actually transmit the electrical impulses. This one here transmitting electrical impulses towards the cell body is known as the dendron. So the dendron brings the impulses towards the cell body and you can see in the sensory neuron the cell body is usually located to the middle of the overall structure. So you find the cell body right there in the center and you have the dendron bringing the impulses towards it and then once the impulses are moving away from the cell body that fiber is known as the axon so it conducts the impulses away from the cell body and then at the end you can see the thin fibers branching out known as the dendrites so the key thing to remember about the sensory neuron is that it conducts electrical impulses from receptors to the CNS which includes the the brain and the spinal cord. All right, let's go on to look at the next neuron, which is the relay neuron. So the relay neurons are located in the CNS. As I just said, it consists of the brain and the spinal cord. So another name for the relay neuron is the intermediate neuron or the interneuron. So if you see any of these terms come up, they mean the same thing. So the relay neurons are found in the brain and the spinal cord and they are pretty much like connector neurons. They're going to connect the sensory neuron to the motor neurons. So you find them in the CNS and they're going to conduct these impulses that are received from the, the sensory neuron and send those impulses to the motor neurons. So think of them as the connector neurons. So you will notice that these, these neurons, the relay neurons, they're mostly a cell body with the dendrites branching out. They don't have a very long axon at all. And they don't have a dendron. So it's just mostly the cell body with the dendrites branching out and a very, very short axon. All right, let's look at the last neuron, the motor neuron. Now the motor neuron is a neuron that's gonna receive the signals, the electrical signals from the relay neurons, which we just looked at from the brain or the spinal cord. So they're located once again in the PNS, the peripheral nervous system, and they're responsible for sending impulses from the CNS to the effectors. And effectors are any organs which carry out a particular response. So those will usually be the muscles and the glands. So you can clearly see how the motor neuron looks. The cell body tends to be at the end, at the top, and you have the dendrite sticking out, and you have a very long axon. 
and key parts you can see here the myelin sheath that helps the the messages to be transmitted in one direction very quickly so you don't want the messages the impulses going in all directions so that's really the purpose of the myelin sheath so that lines the axon so the messages are going to go in one direction from the cell body down through the axon towards the the effector whether it's a muscle or a gland now that we've examined the structure and the function of the three types of neurons, let's move on to look at nerves. Now what exactly are nerves? Nerves are bundles of axons with connective tissue and blood vessels. So if you look at the diagram, you can actually see that the, the nerve consists of these, these bundle of axons. And remember the axons come from the neurons. So these are the thin fibers which transmit electrical impulses from a cell body. So the electrical impulses are moving away from the cell body as they're traveling through the axons. So that is what the nerve is. So a nerve is pretty much a collection of the axons from neurons. So I like to make the comparison between a nerve and a power cable or card. So if you see the diagram here, you can see that the power card is acting pretty much like how a nerve would behave. And then the electrical wires would be equivalent to the neurons which are running through the nerve. So the axon of the neurons would be similar to the electrical wires. Now there are key points that you need to remember about nerves. So nerves are generally found attached to the brain and the spinal cord. So they, they form the PNS which is the peripheral nervous system. So they include the cranial nerves, which branch from the brain, and the spinal nerves, which branch from the spinal cord. So remember, so these make up the PNS, and they're gonna be carrying signals to and from the CNS, which I just mentioned just now. Remember the CNS consists of the brain and the spinal cord. Now the last point to note is that the nerve, they enclose the axons from the sensory and the motor neurons. So those two neurons, the axons of those two neurons are found running through the nerves. So just remember the difference. So the nerves is the actual, the entire structure that encloses the axons of the neurons. Well, the neurons are actual nerve cells which transmit the electrical signals. So as I have here, once again, going back to the diagram, the picture with the power card and the electrical wires. So always think of the nerve as the power card and the neurons, the axons of the neurons as the electrical wires. So I hope you now have a better understanding of the differences between neurons and nerves.